Hello guys, my name is Madhun and welcome to my channel. This is the 50th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're not going to check out anything new or specifically important. I'm just going to discuss an application of for loop which I think you guys might find interesting. So I have my text editor here and I have uh, saved two files in my home folder. The one that I have opened um, up at the moment is called command list and it's a text file and the other one is a script file and it's called help and has the extension sh, right? So what we're going to do in this tutorial is in the file command list, I'm going to type in a few command names, right? And uh, then in the script file help.sh, I'm going to use for loop to iterate over the commands that I will be typing in command list and then I will be fetching out the man pages of those commands one by one and I will be sending those man pages to another file which I'm going to call help file right so firstly I'll have to type in commands here and I'm going to use cat and uh, date and cal and touch these are probably the commands that I use most often and uh, in the file help.sh I'll type in the keyword for on line one because we're going to use for loop to iterate over the commands and then I'll type in my control variable which I'm going to call cmd right and then I'll type in another keyword in which is part of the for syntax and then I will have to inform for the commands over which I wanted to iterate and this I'm going to do by typing in cat space command list and I'll put this entire thing within reverse quotes and the reason why I'm doing this is because we are interested in the commands that are there in the file command list and since command list is a text file we are using the cat command to uh, get us the entries or the words that are there in the file command list and uh, once those commands are made available to for for will iterate over them one by one and uh, the control variable cmd will hold cat in the first iteration and then date in the second iteration, cal in the third iteration and touch in the fourth iteration. So since there are four commands there are going to be four for loop iterations and let me save this file first. All right. And uh, on the next line in my script file I'm going to type in the keyword do to get inside the for block and then since I want to get the man pages of the commands I'm going to type in man space dollar cmd and what this will do is since uh, cmd is gonna hold the commands one by one so in the first iteration man cmd will get the man page of cat in the second iteration man cmd will get the man page of date and uh, so on and so forth there are going to be four iterations and since i want to send this output to another file i'm going to use the double redirection operator and uh, i'm going to type in the name of the file which uh, i'm going to call help file right and I've used the double redirection operator here because I want the output to be appended right so in the first iteration cat's man page is going to be sent to help file and in the second iteration the second command that we have in the command list file is date so date's man page will be appended to the man page of uh, cat that that is there in the help file we don't want it to replace the already existing test but we want it to append the text to what's already there in the help file right so I hope you get this and in case you have any confusion check out my tutorial on cat command and uh, it's pretty early in this course it has to be before the 15 tutorial so you guys can check that out right and uh, on the last line oh sorry in the, on the fourth line I'm gonna type in the last keyword which is done and with this my jobs over so now what I can do is I can bring up my terminal and I'll execute the script file by typing in sh space help dot sh and when I press the enter key well it took a second for the shell to do all that work but my dollar prompt has been returned to me now and now what I can do is I can uh, open the file help file and see what I have right and I'm not gonna do that in the terminal instead I'm gonna use my text editor and there you go in this file help file it's obviously a text file you see that you first have the man page of cat and then from 77th line onwards you have the man page of date and then well dates man page is pretty long because you get a lot of options that you can use with it and uh, then from line 254 onwards you have the man page of cal and uh, then lastly from line 347 onwards you have the man page of touch so there you go all that work was done by shell in uh, just a few seconds 
and uh, it's pretty amazing how quickly things work and uh, you know this wasn't really a very important tutorial and you guys could have probably skipped it but you know I just thought that uh, it might be you know a little bit of fun for you guys to do something of this sort so thank you so much for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we're gonna discuss nested loops which are obviously important and uh, we might be using them a lot uh, in this course and uh, even otherwise you know if you decide to become shell programmers in future then nested loops are something that you must uh, know and something that uh, you must be able to use as and when the need arises so Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel.